This video looks at one of the first things your child will do relating to fractions and decimals, which is counting forward and backwards in tenths. One tenth as a fraction looks like this. All that means is one divided by ten. All fractions have a numerator, which is the number on top of the line and a denominator which is the number below the line. The number above the line is how many you have and the number below the line is what you've divided it by. So one tenth is one divided by ten. If we have a piece of card we're going to divide it into ten equal pieces. Each one of those pieces is one tenth of the whole shape. We need ten of those yellow cards to fill up the red card. So each time we add on a tenth you'll see that the denominator stays the same but we're adding one to the numerator each time and four tenths and five tenths which you'll probably recognize is a half of the whole piece of card. And we carry on six tenths, seven, eight, nine, and then the final tenth that we put in has covered the whole piece of card. Ten tenths is the same as one whole. Whatever you have that you divided into ten, ten tenths is the whole thing. And with any fraction, if the numerator and denominator are the same, you have one. Counting backwards in tenths, here we have a whole pizza. It's been divided equally into ten pieces. Each piece is one tenth of the whole pizza. Currently, we have ten tenths because the whole pizza is there. As soon as someone eats one of those tenths, we now have nine tenths. And if we continue to eat one tenth, of the pizza, the numerator goes down once each time. And again, when we get to five tenths, you can see that you have half the pizza remaining. And keep eating the pizza until we have just one tenth remaining. Here we have a number line. It goes from zero to one and it's been divided into ten sections. Each section is one-tenth of the whole line. Each time we move along one-tenth, we're adding on a tenth until we get to ten-tenths, which is a whole one. Just so you can make sure you're familiar with this, here's one that you can have a go at. Each box represents how many tenths. Pause the video, have a go. Three tenths, six tenths, nine tenths. Once you've got the hang of counting in tenths, counting back in tenths shouldn't be too much of a problem. If your child is confident counting back in whole numbers from ten, then this won't phase them. If we look at this line, we've got the ten tenths to give us one whole one. And if we take one tenth away, we have nine tenths left. If we have nine tenths and we take away one tenth, it goes down to eight tenths. So you can see how similar this is to ordinary counting. The numerator, the number at the top of the fraction, will go down one each time you take away a tenth. The denominator, the number at the bottom, will stay as ten because we're counting in tenths. Here are some counting back in tenths for you to have a go at. Count back three tenths from one. How many tenths do you get to? Pause the video, have a go. From one, count back one tenth, which takes you to nine tenths. Count back another tenth, which takes you to eight tenths. Count back another tenth, that takes you to seven tenths. Count back three tenths from one, 
you have seven tenths. This time, count back four tenths from seven tenths. Pause the video, have a go. Here's seven tenths on the number line. Count back one tenth, that's six tenths. Another tenth, that's five tenths. Another tenth, that's four tenths. Another tenth. Counting back four tenths from seven tenths takes you to three tenths.